Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and I brought my sidekick. Damien. And I today love. we're over here at the point at Ascension by Pulte Homes in the new Peaks Village. This opened up about a week or two ago. And it's an all single story community and they will have four different floor plans to choose from. And they also have three different elevations. They have this elevation, which is their elevation B, which is a little more contemporary. They have elevation A, which is just basic, and elevation C, which has the extended or pitched roof or asymmetrical roof line. Now, elevation A, I think, is no cost, but the other two elevations are a different price point, okay? So we're gonna tour the Luminary, the Luminary. And this one is 4,006 square feet with four bedrooms, three and a half baths, three car garage, base price starting at 1,765,990. Now that is just the base price. That doesn't include your lot premium, your elevation, your structural options, or any upgrades that you may select. Uh, this home is full of lots of different options so I can't wait to show you. Love this courtyard. Now this is the upgraded pivot door. It's a 48 inch pivot door, or it would come as a 40 inch door. So this is an upgraded feature. Can you open the door? Yep. Thank you. Now when you come in, let's just pan real quick. You have this, what's called a flex space. And so I'm just gonna do this. So this flex space could be different options you could do with this flex space. I love what they did with it. They have it as the flex space with this beautiful, it's so hard to tell what this is nowadays. Is this marble? Is this porcelain? Um, and they did the whole glass surround. Now this could be a den that could be converted with French doors, or um, there's about a couple of different options, or you can make this into bedroom number five, and then this would be completely closed off, and bedroom four becomes the games room. So obviously they don't have it modeled that way. There's other options as well, as I do believe you could add, if you do make this into a den, you can add, oh, here's the wet bar option right here. So this is an upgraded feature that they have is this wet bar, which is also very nice. Love that big wine fridge. These are probably for freezers for ice and stuff. Yeah. Yep. The temperature control. A little um, bar sink. And this is definitely quartzite. I know that material. That's real So let's take a look. Now for this, is an upgrade for the fireplace. They also put a nice a quartzite around it. You have an option of two different fireplace options. I do believe one could be gas and one could be electric. I'm not 100% on that. Look what they did with the beautiful ceiling. I love that and then they did the nice, this looks bigger than 12 by 24. Yeah. Looks like 12 by 36 yeah. tiles. Um, now, FYI, the secondary little island does not come with the house and is not an option. They just did this for design aesthetics, uh, just FYI. There is going to be different, and we'll go down this way in a minute. There's going to be different kitchen layouts. So this is the executive island. You have three different island options. This is the executive island, which is the largest island that has double storage. Pulte does a lot of this executive island. You want to show underneath? And they're deep. Oh, they're pretty deep. Mm -hmm. And then you also have the other option of the island to be in a T-shape, like a dining room table. Or the last option is to have a much shorter or less not as wide island with the waterfall. Also, you have different gourmet kitchen packages. Um, so right now, currently, they have the signature and they have different tiers when it comes to the appliance packages. So obviously, the higher the tier, the higher the appliance package is. Uh, and this is the widest. 60-inch. 60 60 inch, yeah. 
It's not Sub-Zero per se, but it's like a Sub-Zero refrigerator. Signature. Signature. Yeah, Sub-Zero is a brand, but it's kind of like a Sub-Zero concept, right? And then you have these beautiful flat panel brown cabinets. This is neat. We saw that yesterday yeah, in another like house. Yeah. Soft clothes. This for the trash. Let's open that up. They didn't do the upgraded There's no pull outs. Pull outs. Yeah. But it's soft clothes. Yeah. Then you have the large farm basin stainless steel sink. And they also went up higher with the cabinets and they did another layer. And look at this bad boy. I think another appliance package is where you could have a double ovens instead of having just this uh, range hood. Yeah, side-by-side. Side yeah, side by side, yeah. Um, you could have double ovens, I do believe. But look at this range hood. It's a monster. Yeah. This is a nice feature. Yeah, this is an upgraded feature right here to add this window, and I highly recommend it. Otherwise, I think it would be dark. Um, let's look in these right here just in case. Oh, oh yeah, they did the pull-outs on this here one. Here we go. That's nice. And they did the, the Yeah, new, that's a very style. nice feature to have. Now, when you buy a home with Pulte and you want to buy in this community, you're going to first pick the floor plan, right? Do I like the luminary, the dignitary, the royalty, or the king's gate? And then once you pick that out, then you're going to see what lot size or lot is available. Then you pick your lot. So you're going to have a lot premium. And then you're going to meet with the sales team and pick out your structural options. So structural options would be how executive kitchen island, how you want the island. Another upgraded feature is the sliders, right? There's about four or five different ways that this could happen. Are these just windows? Yeah, they don't have sliders here. Yes. Yeah. Just... You can put sliders here. You can put sliders to the corner to make it all one big slider. There's different ways of doing it. So when you select your sliders, let's just real quick look at this. We're going that last. Okay. So this is the flex space. All of the luminary has the flex space. So after you pick your upgraded options or your structural options, then you will go under contract and then within a month or so you will go to the design studio to pick out your upgrades. Now upgrades can be anywhere from flooring to your countertops to your cabinets to your pools to all your faucet hardware. You're going to spend a good day at the design studio designing your home with a design consultant and that could end up being costly. Typically on a new construction home, what comes with the home, the base is the carpet throughout the entire house and hard surfaces in the entry, kitchen, and bathrooms. So Damien and I will be doing a video very soon on a seven upgrades to avoid and how to stay on budget when you're buying a new construction home. That was a long story, right? It was a long story. Uh, now you have this as a pantry two option which is nice. Unfortunately, you can't add a refrigerator, but this is a nice option. I actually like this color this, better. Yeah, me too. This I wish they would have done this inside here because it makes it look so dark with that, um, that, that wood flooring, right? Yeah, this is lighter. Yeah, I think it would have made it brighter. I mean, it, they did design-wise very beautifully. However, I think it would have been better if they would have used a lighter color flat panel. And those flat panels are a huge upgrade. Also, you have the baseboards as an upgrade. These look like six or seven no, inches. Like seven, yeah. yeah. All right, so when you come down, initially I thought this was a, another pantry, but it's a linen closet. But you could use it as a pantry or a second pantry, right? Mm -hmm. Then you have the laundry room. So this is the upgraded laundry room from the model. This is laundry room two, which takes up part of the second pantry or the first pantry. And this is where you can put the extra refrigerator, which is a very nice feature. I would definitely keep that pantry number two, get rid of pantry one, make a larger laundry room. And uh, yeah, that's how I would do it. Yeah, very nicely. Now, again, all of these are upgraded features. The sink is an upgraded feature, the cabinets. Pulte will never do this. This is something that you'd have to hire an interior decorator to do. 
Now, when you buy new construction, typically the washer, dryer, and refrigerator do not come with the house. However, you could buy that refrigerator part of that appliance package that, you know, that 60 inch wide, you know, sub refrigerator. Yep. So another linen closet. Now this is considered bedroom number four. If you were to make bedroom five over there in the flex space, then this would become a game room, which is kind of cool. Or you could make this bedroom four into a guest suite and take up part of the garage, the third car garage. Another option is the third car can be another two car, so you have a four car garage. So this has its own ensuite, beautifully done. Love that. The quartz countertops. And also this type of shower with the bench is an upgraded option. Normally it comes with a tub shower combination. So I like that Pulte is starting to let you have the option of converting some of the rooms into a guest suite. And I think even if you make this a guest suite, take up the third car, since you have the option of making it two cars over there, you can probably still have your third car. This is a very nice little drop zone area. And here is another bedroom. They consider this one bedroom number three. Decent size. This one's um, a 12 by 13, almost a 13 by 13. And has a nice walk-in closet. And I like how these new construction homes are putting walk-in closets. There is a shared Jack and Jill bathroom, which is very common that we're seeing the floating vanity, the double vanity with the home quartz countertops, a uh, little smaller 12 by 24 tiles. And they also upgraded the shower with the, you know, the, with the bench and everything in it. All right. So now let's go out of here and go into bedroom number two. And this one's 11 by 11, almost 12 by 11. You have this little nook area right here, which is kind of cool. And then there you go, a little smaller. And again, another walk-in closet. So that's also a nice feature to have. Got, get lost. <laughs> Moonchild. I like how they decorate these model homes. Look at these tall ceilings. Since this is this B elevation, these ceilings feel like they're 14 feet tall. Yeah, and then 16 in here looks like. 16, I think, is in the other one. No, I think that's 12 and 14. Okay. Because the 16 is only in the C elevation. Oh, that's right. So let's see what else we got. Oh, they're working in the primary. All right, so in the entry to the, from the garage, you have a half bath over here, just like the other bathroom setup. And let's see, you have a closet and then you have a drop zone. And I do believe there's two options, a drop zone like this or something with a bench with hooks. I would go with the drop zone, especially when you're coming in from the garage, you can put your keys right there, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see, like we can get into the primary. There's someone working in here. Um, oh. well, all right, so this is the primary bathroom, and this is how it comes. There's no different options for it. I'll, a couple of my clients like this, right? Yeah. You have the separate vanities, which is on trend right now. Again, with the same honed quartz countertops. And then I like how they have the tub in the middle, and then they have this extremely large shower. with two heads, echoey, and a rain head. This is kind of nice, that way you can hide your privates a little with this wall, but you know. Yeah, but you still see everything. Yeah. It's big. It's huge. And I love the tub. I like that you can have a tub, because people still take baths, guys. Guilty. Wow. I think this is the first model that we've seen custom closets in. 
Now you could, they do have a, like a contract with a certain closet company where you could have them build, but I highly recommend that you just go with the generic or actually you can with Pulte ask them not to put any of the closet rods in if you're going to go the custom route because that way they don't have to tear anything out when they put in your new custom closets. I highly recommend going that route because once you go custom, it's hard to ever go back. And for resale purposes, everyone loves a custom closet. This is what we've done to our house, but we didn't put cabinets. We kept it as shelves. Yeah, sure. But it's, I highly recommend that. But, you know, the Pulte Builder Grade cabinets is still, I mean, the um, shelves with the bars is still pretty nice. Oh, that's a cool feature. Yeah, it's too small, though. I do your laundry every other day. <laughs> yeah. That's not a, I mean, I, I do my laundry every two weeks or so. I have enough clothes to make it last. <laughs> I like this little area right here. Can you open that door? Yeah. This is interesting. Another linen closet. Oh, that's the surround sound. Mm -hmm. And let's open this door. Another linen closet. I would use that for like sweaters and stuff. Mm, yeah. Jeans. All right, let's go in here real quick. Hello. Hi. Look at this. And they use the same quartzite. And the fireplace option is an upgraded feature as well as the sliders in the bedroom multi-slider panel beautiful all right now let's go check out the backyard let us know in the comments what you think of your floor plan and what is your floor plan or what is your favorite floor plan in the point mine right now is the royalty and king's gate we have clients that bought the king's gate floor plan but I think you can't go wrong with any of them, right? Now the lot sizes here are a little bigger than others because of the footprint of the houses because they're bigger single story houses. Um, so they put like a little pool jacuzzi in here. So this is a decent size lot, right? Especially the size of the Yeah, house. and of course this is a model home. This is not how your home's gonna look. They did a built-in kitchen. When you buy new construction, your front yard is always landscaped by the builder, but your backyard is not landscaped, it's just dirt. And you have usually six to 12 months to get your yard landscaped. And you have to get it approved through the HOA. That's the most important thing. You can't just hire people to do your yard. You have to have it approved through HOA. Since this is part of Summerlin South and uh, Ascension, you have to get approved through both HOAs. So yeah, this is like a oversized hot tub. Yeah. It's a nice feature. Mm -hmm. All righty, guys. Really? Yeah. So to summarize, this is the Luminary at 4,006 square feet, four to five bedrooms, three and a half baths, three to four car garage, base price starting at 1,765,990. That's just the base price and it does not include your lot premium, structural options, or any upgrades. This price could change by the time you watch this video. With every new lot release, Pulte will increase the base price because of how popular this community is. But the most important thing is if you're thinking about buying an Ascension or any new construction here in the Valley, you need your real estate agent with you on the very first visit and you need someone that's an expert in new construction like me. So they need to call me at... Call Angela and she even knows how to work with the people here at 702-370-5112. Awesome sauce. All right, folks, we are going to head out. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one. But real quick, make sure you hit like and subscribe first. Peace out.